So a question I get a lot of guys ask is, how did you guys get picked to be judges? Well, I mean, I kind of have a unique situation in how I landed the part on the, on the show in, yeah. in that uh, we got together, we made the pilot a few years before the show got picked up by the network. Okay. So we were actually all collaborators and creators of the pilot, um, with Alan, Peaches, Sheldon, and myself, and, uh, and our friend Justin, uh, who was, came on as a director. And then mm. I was going to be editing the pilot. So when the show got picked up by the network, uh, I was going to be the editor, but our executive producer said, we're auditioning for guys, Chris. We're not really finding everybody that we need for this to make this panel well-rounded. And right. uh, why don't you go out? I really want you to go out. And I said, yeah, sure. I had some acting background and, and whatnot and some on-camera experience. So I actually went and auditioned and uh, landed the part of the nice guy, the, the missing piece of the puzzle at the time, because Sheldon, uh, Peaches, and Alan were kind of locked in for their roles. And they were involved in the pilot on camera, but right. I wasn't. So right, right. I was this, this, the newcomer to the group, basically, and kind of fitting that piece of the pie that all these guys were coming in with all this bravado and beating their chest in the, <laughs> in the auditions. Literally. And, and <laughs> I, I was maybe the, one of the few guys, if, if not the only guy that came in and was just a real dude sitting there on the panel auditioning with like a, a genuine... Because we're unreal dudes. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, I'll tell he was. We, we suggested to the executive producer yeah. that Chris would be a great fit at Nice Guy because he was a nice guy and we'd seen him perform. It's real. And, 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 and all, all our positions on the panel were based on real field like experience and performance. That's who you are. Exactly. Right. Yeah, Chris is an actor, but he really is a nice guy, and he's a nice guy who can get results. Right. He doesn't act like a guy who can get results. He can actually get results in the which field. Is, which is what it's about. Yeah, but he's just used the nice guy angle. And the same thing, uh, me and Sheldon came with the sh onto the show as a package deal. So what I would do is I would go up to Guelph and party with Sheldon. Because you were out there. Yeah, he was okay. out there, and Mad Hammer, and some of the other guys. Oh, some of the other, <laughs> yeah, some of the other Guelph boys. And we would tear that shit up. And then, and, and, and what happens, Alan, he was a trouble. <laughs> and Alan was a roommate at the time uh, for, with Hammer, was Alan? Yeah, he Hammer, was a roommate yeah. with Hammer, and he would come out with us, and Alan would, would do, Boobich, yeah. oh, okay. he would do his Shooter McGavin thing at the bar, line up the bar with shots, make a spectacle, high value, high value. And then we would just go out there, and we'd just throw shit against the wall, you know? I just got off a roll, baby, you know? I haven't had a woman in a long time, you know? What if we can help a brother out? And we'd just do all that type of stuff. We'd have some fun, we'd kick it, and you know? And, and, and from that, because we were always challenging each other yep. with different challenges to see who could outdo the next guy. Right. The concept was created of, we should get a camera on this. Because uh, so people would, you'd say your friend, you know, I'd say, I'm not saying you specifically, because yeah. they don't want to give specific yeah. examples. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're using just generalization. There was a large group of us. <laughs> 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 you might say, right. I know you can pick up. Yeah. It's obvious, we, you know, we can yeah. pick up. But go up there, you know, Tell that girl her, sh her shoes are the most awful thing you've ever seen in your life and pick her up. Right. And of course, we're all athletes, we're all competitors. It's like, right. yeah, I'll do that until her jacket sucks too. Mm -hmm. And as he walks in, you're like, dude, dude, check this out. Watch, watch, yeah. watch. Yeah. And we'd watch and everyone would kind of crowd around us at the bar eventually just watching these things unfold. And it was just, it just made sense. Right. You know, it, it, was, it was because I think for a lot of the guys who watch the show and who are fans of the show, they have to understand that a lot of the games we came up with, we did. Right. We did, some of them, they're not even allowed to show on the network. They yeah. don't even allow, we have games that we wrote that should be played, but they said uh, too tough or too offensive. Or, or, too, was, or too, what was too expensive. What was too offensive? Because we played some games that were, were funny as hell to me. Right. We had one called, where did that come from? <laughs> and it was, you had to walk up and begin a pickup and then you know, switch a dildo from one pocket to the other. Yes. And you had to kind of say, oh, where'd that come from? Yeah. And yeah. still be able to get the number. You'd be surprised how many women were like, that's wow, so okay, where'd you get that from? Yeah, that'd and be, then that'd be fun. it would escalate well, things very yeah. quickly. Especially if you, if, you got the, if you got the girl in that trance state I mentioned before. Right. You know, me, me, me taking handcuffs, uh, opening them up and undoing them and putting them in my pocket. <laughs> she's, she's in. She's, she, she's still in. <laughs> what the? You know what I mean? I suggested something to her subconscious, though. Right. <laughs> you know? On that note, as far as like the challenges that you know, didn't make the cut or were too offensive and whatnot, what we found that was great with the challenges is a lot of the time they helped the guys out. We gave them to them so they would handicap them to create yeah. the challenge. Oh my to give gosh, it. yeah. But what it did is actually gave their pickup some structure. So yeah. it gave them some purpose and some originality for once in their life. Right. So gave them a platform to overcome their approach anxiety. Absolutely, because yeah. they knew That's they had a time limit or that they had to do this because yeah. cameras were on them and 
it, it turned guys that would maybe sit there at the bar going, I wish I could uh, hit on right. her, to actually doing it because they had cameras on them and they had to do it.